Hey, welcome back guys. In this video, we will write our first test in Python using the Selenium based framework. Now before we do that, let's take a look at which website we will be using to write test on in this tutorial series. So I'm here on automationbro.com website. By the way, if you haven't seen this website before, make sure to check it out and also subscribe to the mailing list so that you get notified of all the new content I put out each week. Okay, so once you're here on this website, go to the resources section and click on the practice e-commerce site. Once you do that, it will open up this new website for you. So we will be using this practice e-commerce site and the URL for this is practice.automationbro.com. So it's built on WordPress and it has multiple functionalities that you would see in a typical e-commerce website, such as you can add or remove items to the cart. You can see your cart total, check out with some fake payment option and some basic features like login and registration. So this is a full complete website. That means it has a backend component attached to it as well as any changes you will make here when logged in will get saved here. So you will get a full real site experience on this. So for this Python tutorial series, I will be using this website. You can feel free to go ahead and use any other if you want, or you can also just go ahead and follow along with me and use this website. All right, now that we know the which website we will be using, let's take a look at that first test we will be writing. So our first test is going to be really simple. What we're going to do is open this URL. So we're going to go to practice.automationbro.com through our test. And then from there, we're going to verify the title of this page. So the title is practice e-commerce site dash automation bro. So we're going to verify this. And once we do that, so that would basically be able to give us some good experience of how our test works, how to run the test. And after that, we're going to add in another session just to verify this automation bro logo and to see if that logo is present once we open up this page. So really simple, but this should cover the basics of how to write your first test. And I think it should give you some enough experience on how to get started with Selenium Base and Python. So let's head over to PyCharm and get started. So I'm back here in Selenium Base and from our previous videos, if you remember, we created this test.py file and then we had this basic print hello world functionality here. Now we created this folder Selenium Python inside that we added this. So what we're going to do now is obviously this test.py is not really helpful for us. So we will get started with creating a new package. So I'm going to do right click here and do new and create a Python package. And here I'm going to name this one test. So we're going to create a test folder and this test.py, I'm going to rename this to test underscore home.py. So we're going to create a test for our home file. So to rename this, I'm going to right click on test.py, do refactor, rename, and then change this to test underscore home.py and then I will just refactor this. Then I will click on this and drag it inside the test folder so that we have our test underscore home.py file inside the test folder. Okay, so now that we have some basic figured out in terms of our folder structure, we will get started with writing our first test. So let me get rid of the print statement from here. And now the very first thing we're going to do is import Selenium base. So to import Selenium base, we're going to do this by doing from Selenium base and you can see this automatically I'm getting the suggestion over here. I'm going to click on that and then from Selenium base, I'm going to import the base case class. So I'm going to do from Selenium base import base case. I'm going to hit enter. So base case is a class that Selenium base provides us and it has all the helper functionalities that we need to be able to run our test. And we're going to look into base case a little bit more once we get down to looking into the Selenium base API. All right, so now that we have imported base case, we're going to create our first class. So to create a class, we're going to use class and then I'm going to name this class. We can name it something simple. I'm going to name this home test because this will have all my tests related to my home file. Then I'm going to add brackets here and basically create my first class. And then I will just do pass. So pass is just a temporary placeholder here. So we will remove this and actually start adding our function. But I just wanted to show you what we did here. So we created our class, we called it home test and inside the home test in our bracket, we're going to be inheriting base case. So I'm going to type in base case here so that we have access to the base case inside our home test class. Now, if you're not familiar with inheritance or the object oriented concepts, what we just did is, is using base case. Once we put it here, our home test now has access to everything that the base case provides us. So we will be able to call all the methods of base case through the home test class. And that's the power of inheritance we get. Now here I'm going to get rid of pass and I'm going to add my first method. And I can name this one test underscore home underscore page. And I'm going to add self here. 
and then hit enter. And over here, I'm just going to add some comments. The first comment I'm going to add is we have to open our homepage. I'm going to do open homepage. The next thing we need to do is assert our title. So I'm going to do assert page title. And after that, we're going to do optional. And this is going to be assert our logo. So this would be assert logo. Okay, so that's good. Now what we did here is we created our method or definition and we call that test underscore homepage. And this is as part of our home test class. And then we edit self here. Now self represents the instance of this class. So by using the self keyword, we can access the attributes as well as the method of the class in Python. And you will take a look at how this works once we start using self. So let's take a look at how we can open the home page and assert the page title or assert the logo. So we don't really know how this works because not, we are not familiar with how Selenium base or the base case uh, class actually works. So to actually look into how this works, we're going to head over to Selenium base documentation and figure out how all of these things work. So I'm going to open up Chrome and I'm going to open up the Selenium base website. So I'm here on Selenium base.io. And from here, I'm going to click on API reference so that we can understand how Selenium base API works. So here Selenium base has provided us with all the method summary and what it actually does. So the very first thing that you can see is self.open. So this one actually opens your web page and this is what we need. We need to open practice.automationbro.com. This is what we need to open. So we should most likely be able to do by self.open and then provide our URL over here. The next thing we need to do is assert the page title. So here I'm going to do a quick search to see how I can assert something. Now if I search that I'm going to do assert page or maybe assert title, something like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, we have this. So we have self dot assert title and we can pass in the title there. So I think this might work for us. We'll try it out and see if this works. And the next thing we're going to do is verify whether this logo is present. So we're going to verify whether that element is there. So I think we should probably be able to do by self um, assert element. See if they have that. So they have element present or they have the assert underscore element. So I think we can just use the assert underscore element present and see if that would work for us. Okay, so now that we know them, some of the methods we will be using or the Selenium based API that we will be using. So let's head over back to PyCharm and implement this. Okay, so just as a side note, every time guys, if you're working with new frameworks, make sure to check out the documentation as you will get all the information or at least majority of the information that you need through the documentation. And after later on, if you're stuck with something, you can check out some tutorials or just Google some stuff online and most likely you'll find that help online. All right. So now let's take a look at how we can open homepage. So we already take a look at that. To do that, we're going to use self.open method. So I'm going to do self.open. And the moment I type this, I get all these auto suggestions by the IDE, which is extremely helpful. So I'm going to click on dot open here. And then here we need to pass in our base URL. So my URL is https practice.automationbro.com. You can put any other website that you want if you're working with a different website. Okay, so I'm going to put that over here. So this will open up our practice automationbro.com. The next thing I want to verify is asserting the page title. So we did look at the page title. So, but what we should do now is actually go to Chrome again and then copy the title. I'm going to come back to Chrome here and then to copy the title, I'm going to right click. This will open up the dev tools for me. And in the dev tools, I can just go at the very top or actually I can search for title here. And there you go. That's my title. I'm just going to copy this and then head back to PyCharm. And here I'm going to do self dot assert title and then paste the title. Perfect. Now we also have this assert logo. I'm going to skip that for now. We will add that later on. First, let's just try to run this and see if our code actually works. Now we haven't covered this on how to run test in Selenium base. So to run test in Selenium base, we just have to use the PyTest functionality. Since Selenium base uses PyTest functionality, we can also run tests by just running the PyTest command. So to run some tests in PyTest, what you can do is in your command line, you can just type in PyTest and that's pretty much it. If you hit enter, your test would start running. But just to explain you how this would work, the moment I hit enter here, what PyTest does it, it looks into the test folder. So we have this test folder. From there, it will look into the any file that has the test underscore extension. So here we have the extension test underscore home. So then it will come in here and then it will take a look at, okay, if it has a method including test underscore starting with this. So we do have a method that starts with test underscore. 
Now let's say if we didn't have this method and it was called just home page, then it wouldn't have picked this up. So I'm gonna fix this again and then put test underscore home there back. And then I'm gonna run this to see if PyTest is able to pick up our test or not. So I will hit enter and see if this would work. So the moment I did that, it has started to run a test and you can see here that it picked up test underscore home dot pi file. Now what it will do is it will try to spin up the Chrome uh, browser. There you go, spinning up Chrome browser. And I'm just gonna wait until it opens up the website and then closes it down. All right, so we have our first passing test. How awesome is that? And we did that literally with just a couple of lines of code. That's all it, what it took us to be able to run our first test in Python using the Selenium based framework. So that's the advantage you get guys when using new frameworks like Selenium base. And I think it's really amazing. Just imagine if you were doing this with basic Selenium and Python, you would have to work with instantiating your a driver and then opening the driver, closing the driver and just working with the different URLs and all the Selenium and WebDriver methods. And it would have taken a lot more time to get all of this working. But with Selenium base, you don't really have to worry about all of that. All you're doing is just focusing on what you're trying to do with your test. Here, I'm just trying to open up my home page and I'm trying to verify the page title. That's it. Everything else Selenium base is taking care of for us. So now that we have our first test passing, let's take a look at and add another session, which is verifying the logo. So I'm going to go back to Chrome and our practice.ecommerce website. And here to verify the logo, I'm going to select this logo here. So the moment I select this by clicking on this button here, we get access to this and the logo is this href. And let's see if you have this uh, unique class. So I'm going to search for this to see if this is unique class. Yeah, this is. So the custom dot dash logo dot link is unique. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm just going to verify whether that element exists there on my actual web page. I'm going to go back to PyCharm. And here I'm just going to do self dot assert underscore element. And I can either do element visible or I can just do ele underscore element. That would just make sure it's present. So I'm just going to go with element just to keep things simple. And here I'm going to add in my selector. So the selector I just copied is this CSS class here, which is dot custom dash logo dash link. And I will just run this and to see if this is able to actually pick up this element. Now let's see if it runs this and this element is not there, it will throw me an error. And we will look into that by actually changing this later on. But just run this test and see if this works for us. All right, so we have our test passing again. That's amazing. So that's all we will be doing in terms of our first test. So one thing I'm going to make sure before we end this video is making sure if these assertions are actually working. And the way we can verify that is by failing our assertions. And we can do that by just changing some stuff here. For example, if I get rid of this site here, and then if I run this to see if this would actually fail my test or not. If it fails, that means our assertion is actually working. If it doesn't fail, that means something is going wrong and this most likely is not able to pick up our assertion. Now you don't have to do this every time, but I would still recommend for you whenever you're writing your new test, at least make sure that your assertions are properly working by failing your test and then rerunning them again to get them passing again. Okay, so our test passed and that's awesome. That's what we expected. And if you notice here, it's saying that there's an assertion error. It was trying to verify practice e-commerce at automation bro, which is what we actually provided here to equal to this e-commerce site. Um, basically, it's not actually equal to it. That's what it's telling us that it should include the site, which is actually not there. And it's actually telling me right over here with this plus plus that, hey, the site thing is missing there. So that's good. That means our session is working and that's exactly what we want. And you can also go ahead and try to verify a session for this um, element too. You can maybe just change the element and try to run this and see if this fails for you. So let's do a quick review of what we covered in this video, guys. The very first thing we did is we created a test folder. Under the test folder, we added this test underscore home dot pi file. And make sure if you're not using PyCharm that you add this underscore init pi file here so that it's a Python package. And once we did that, we create imported a Selenium base. And basically we imported the base case class from the Selenium base framework. From there, we created our class, we called it home test, and then we inherited base case from there. The moment we inherited that, we got access to all this open methods as well as assert title and assert element method. Now from there, we created our test called test underscore homepage, and then we opened our homepage and added our sessions and then tried running our test using the PyTest method. Now the reason we're using PyTest is because Selenium base using PyTest behind the hood. So we are running that to be able to actually run our test to see if that works for us. So that was a quick overview. Hope you guys understand how that works. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. 
that's pretty much it for this video guys if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as that's how i know you guys are really enjoying my content and this will help me keep making more content for you guys also leave a comment below if there are some other topics you would like me to create content on too that's all for now guys i will see you all in the next one